Does your Surefire X300 sound like this? Let me show you how to fix that. All right, so you clicked on this video because you put your Surefire on and it's rattling and it's loose like crazy. I'm gonna show you how to fix that in this video. So the first thing you need to do is remove your Surefire from your frame. Once you do that, put your flashlight aside and you're all done. No more shaking, no more rattling. Just kidding, guys. All right. So the first thing you want to look at is this little letter right here on this, uh, this cap. Uh, you might be using the U, which stands for universal. And really what it is is the part where it catches on your rail here, the U, the universal one, is thinner. So if you have some thick rails, like the Picatinny rail, like these, you're going to need the P. So that's the first thing you want to try. If you have the U, switch the, this cap here to the P, and then slide it back on and see if that works. Now, if it doesn't work, like for me, I'm using a SIG X-Series frame here, and this one doesn't work. I put it in, and you saw it, it's really uh, loose. So what we're going to have to do is take these two rails off of this flashlight, uh, just loosening these th three screws on each side. So I'm going to do that on camera for you so you can see exactly what I do. I'm going to go ahead and remove these three. You don't have to take them out all the way. You can leave them in the, uh, in the rail so you don't lose them. So let's just back these out just enough so that the rail comes loose. All right, this should be close. All right, maybe a little more. All right, there we go. So we'll set that aside and do the same thing for the other side. Now this is the tedious part, is taking these three screws out from each side. So once we get this backed out, just enough, this side should come out as well. Now this would be easier if I had a, a power tool, but this will have to do. All right, so we got both out. Now we can go ahead and remove this and there's gonna be a spring underneath. So we're not gonna need any of this. If you look in the box where your light came in, you should see some other little pieces. And those little pieces is what we're gonna to use to fix the rattling loose problem. So the first piece you're gonna need is this guy right here. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's got this uh, area here to put this thing that we're gonna need to put. I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, and it's got these tabs on the side like this. So we're gonna need that. Then we're also gonna need this bar that has the P on it, because just like the other tab, uh, there's a P and a U on these guys. So you're gonna need the one that has the P. You're gonna need this screw right here. And you're gonna need this wedge, this metal wedge looking thing right here. Okay, so the way this works is we're gonna first put this guy in, clip it right back here where the hinge, uh, where the hinge is at. Then we're gonna put this wedge guy right here in this little slot right here. See if I can pick that up on the camera. So it goes, you can see how I'm holding it. It goes just like this, right in there. Okay. And now you're gonna 
take this screw there's a hole on the side okay there's a hole right there you're gonna stick that screw in there and you start twisting this guy into the wedge you don't want to you don't want to twist it in all the way you want to leave it out just a little bit because it needs to fall in that little hole that's right there okay i don't know if you could see that there's like this oval hole right there that's where the the head of the screw is going to fit into see so if we close that it fits right in there okay so then we're going to take this bar here and you're going to notice on the opposite side of the p there's like this little channel right here and that is going to line up with this uh ridge right here so we're going to place that nice and flush just like that and close it up there we go so now everything is nice and flat we can replace these rails on either side make sure we've got the right one so you'll notice one of them has like a cutout here the other one doesn't right this one with the cutout is the one that goes on this side here so we could just put that right over the cutout is for that that bar that we just installed so now we just line up the screws with the screw holes oh before i do that so i do have a torque screwdriver here i'm going to set to four pounds because in the instructions it says you don't want to over tighten this and it suggests no more than four torque pounds so we're going to go ahead set that all right we'll put this back on here and let's tighten that up so hopefully it's lined up yes it is all right so I'm going to tighten that till it stops and then I'm going to get the other ones first before I tighten that one in all the way because I may have to, there we go, so you have to adjust it just a little bit just to line up the holes. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one up till it stops and do the same for this guy in the middle. You get the idea. Okay, now once I have all three of them in there, then I'm going to torque it down uh, nice and tight. Okay, there it goes. I will do this one, same thing. And the last one over here. There we go. Okay, now we got one side. Do the same thing for the other. We'll line those up. This is a little tedious here. This is, the, like I said, the most tedious part is messing with these things. All right, that's lined up. So I can start tightening these up and do the same thing. I'm just gonna tighten enough to where I feel a little bit of resistance right there. Let's get this guy on the end. Okay, almost done. And now for the last one in the middle, let's get that guy in all the way. Okay, let's tighten it up. That one's good to go. That one's good to go. And that one's good to go. All right, now we're ready to install this back up on the frame. Um, and essentially what we did, we replaced it for this uh, this little thing that has a, that metal wedge that you saw in there. And when you tighten that screw, once you, um, once you install this back on the frame and you tighten that screw, it's gonna push that wedge and make this little tab go up, up into the bottom of the frame, which is gonna hold it in place. So you'll see what I mean. Let me get the uh, frame out here. Oh, we have to, I forgot, we got to pull this guy out, out of the way first. So 
pull these two tabs back. I might turn the light on here. Okay, I did it. And then you're gonna pull this tab back out and slide it out. It's gonna stop. It's not gonna let you pull it out completely, but you're gonna pull it out until it stops, just like that. Now you can slide it back onto the frame and find the slot that you wanna put it into and then just push that tab all the way through. Okay, now you're gonna see it's still rattly and loose. But if we take our screwdriver here and we tighten this screw, you're not gonna tighten it all the way, but just enough, you're gonna know. You can tighten it and then test it and it's already good. No more shaking. Well, that's not, that's something else in here that's shaking, but this is tight. It's not shaking anymore. So that's it, guys. That's how you fix that problem. I hope this uh, video helped some of you guys out there. If it did, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you found this video uh, value to you, please subscribe. Until the next one, God bless and stay safe.